Oh my god, if this would work well, it would be probably the biggest, laziest Fluffles colony ever. Hello everyone, welcome to the new video on the Czech Ant channel. Guys, I'm really excited about this one, because this experiment would be a really crazy. But let me educate you a little bit before this experiment starts. Newborn elates are probably using some kind of biological chemical clock and with them they somehow know the best time to emerge from the nest and mate. And if you are lucky, as I am, and you go catching queens when this is happening, you can catch hundreds of them. So let's move on. Ant queens of Lazi's Flavus are polygynous. That means one nest would have more than one queen. But Lazius flowers are quite different from other polygynous colonies. Cause after the first workers hatch, when the queens don't feel comfortable together, they will start fighting until death. And just one strongest queen will last and can spread her genes. Quite brutal but effective way of evolution to spread strongest genes when there is not enough sources to keep all queens alive. Now let's check if our queens are okay. I chose to keep them in my own homemade AAC formicarium. I would let them live in a test tube but they can't fit there. So I chose this like a best option for observing ants and providing them with enough humidity. Which they probably really like. Look, all of them want to have the most humid place to start colony on. I've catched most of those queens yesterday and they immediately move them to this formicarium. Hope queens will start laying eggs quickly and will tolerate each other. But this is actually what this experiment is about. To better understand the complex behavior of ants. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe and ring the bell. And if there are some ant keepers with experiences that can help me with some kind of advice, I would be really happy as well. See you guys again in another and adventure.